It's day seven at sea and we are 25 miles off the coast of Belize with only 50 nautical miles between us and Guatemala. Life is made up of moments that shape us, that define us, and then redefine us. Sometimes we know that the moment we're currently living in will live on forever. And whether or not that's a good thing is something that only time can decide. This video is sponsored by Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens is empowering people to take ownership of their health. Their flagship product, AG1, is comprehensive daily nutrition made powerfully simple. It's made up of 75 high quality, whole food sourced ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. It's an effortless daily habit. It's eight ounces of water with one scoop of AG1. My autoimmune journey includes the complete degradation of my digestive tract, which means malabsorption, which means I wasn't getting the vitamins and minerals that I was needing for years and it caused me a lot of issues. I started drinking AG1 every single day to help with all of that and I can definitely feel the difference. It has a fresh green apple taste, it's crisp, and between this and my AG1 vitamin D3 plus K2, I feel like I've got all my bases covered and I recommend you guys cover your bases too. You can go to athleticgreens.com forward slash Expedition Evans and that is gonna give you this, which is a year supply of D3 plus K2 for free and you'll also get five free travel packs with your first order. Go try it out, let me know what you guys think and thank you again, Athletic Greens, for continuing to sponsor our channel. The past few days at sea have comprised the most peaceful and blissful sailing that we've had since beginning our cruising journey nearly two years ago. In the past six days, we've traveled nearly 650 nautical miles. And as it turns out, 650 nautical miles is just about as far as comfort and safety are going to accompany us on this passage. Okay, where are we going? The 
zipper came off. Okay, where are we going? We just gotta take it down. Okay.
I, it's not actually Xanax, it's a different brand, but the vet special like prescribed it for them for if we were ever hit by unexpected bad weather like today. So they are like super happy. They're high as, high as kites right now, uh, which is good. Uh, we're not gonna take any of that because I don't know what would happen if we did. We're just gonna keep our cool unmedicated. Uh, but for them, for them it's very important. So definitely recommend if you sail with dogs, talk to your vet about ahead of time and get something for situations like this. Because this was not forecasted. These are a little bit. There's zero forecast for this. Like what? The flipping frickery is this? I'm not gonna swear because I'm gonna have to beef it out. But I think you get my meaning. Fred's just getting his jacket on right now. At this point, we've done everything that we can do, and so we just wait. We ride it out, but we're going to stay tethered in on deck because we might get tossed around inside if we went inside. Yeah. We don't have any tether points inside, not really. Our boat wasn't really built for that. We're super seasick right now. Okay. You're okay. okay. Yeah, look at the horizon. Do you want to look forward? The horizon moves a lot that way. Yeah, it does. Maybe let's start with So we knew the wind was going to pick up. That was forecasted. We were, yeah, it was going to pick up to 15 knots. Yeah, we were excited for that. It was like 15, maybe 20 yep. on a gust. That would be great. Now it's sustained 40. It's more right now, actually. And it's at least 40. I saw 40 on the gauge, like solid. So. There's thunder. There's also lightning and thunder above us. And yeah, this, this is a good time. The, the Bimini little extension, whatever connector piece, the zipper ripped out on it. So we no longer have that. We still have the fabric, but also this Bimini right here is starting to rip at some of the seams. So that's stressful. Well, we were talking about whether we should do a hard pack. Yeah. We're gonna lose the grill. Yeah, that bird's been on our Disney this whole time. All night. That bird? Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Can I give myself one too? Are you? Yeah, might as well. Yeah. These are prescription three-day behind-the-ear patches for motion sickness. Scopolamine. I've used it once before and it was great. So it's good for times like these. Good for times when you're so seasick that you throw stuff up. Which I've never been that seasick before, but I have. Brett has. <laughs> it's all good though. So we have the patches. That was that was uh thanks to my mom. She's like, you're gonna you're gonna want these. Made sure that we got a prescription for them. We've had a few friends make this passage and they're all like, we blew out head sails and ran into logs and like we've heard multiple accounts and we're like almost there thinking that this has been the easiest passage that we've ever had. <laughs> oh man. And then we hit the Gulf Stream and a storm at the same time. Winning. Losing? Winning. We're winning life experiences. I do feel like it's good though. Every time we do a big storm like this, I'm less afraid the next time. Yeah. That bird is just like hanging out. I think you want to try and land on the boat while we're moving too much. You think? You can do it. Maybe you really need to poop when you're trying to catch up to our floor panel. <laughs> Will you say that louder for the people in the back? <laughs> I said maybe he just really needs to poop and he's trying to catch up to our solar panels. That's his job. We started thinking it was almost over. But the wind and the waves are both picking back up and we can hear the wind. It's coming. It's about to get bad again. And there's also starting to be quite a bit of lightning. 
which is the worst part of it all. We can handle wind and waves. We can mitigate that. I don't know if we can mitigate lightning. I don't even know what we would do if we got struck. Not touch metal in the meantime. I put, I put some things in the oven as a Faraday cage. We'll see. I really just want this to be over. It was fun, now it can be done. How's your seasickness, love? Comes and goes. The it out. comes and goes yeah. in waves. Like that song? Yeah. Penny could care less. Yeah, she's looking for that bird. Yeah, all she can care about is tracking that bird. Oh, now she's falling asleep. And Dingo's out like a light bulb. So that worked. At least that's going to plan. Yeah. Wow. Our godsends of friends just got us weather updates. They texted in weather updates for us. What's going on is we, we were trying to head south out of the storm. We were going directly into the swell. It was the most comfortable way. But the storm is 200 miles long north to south but it's only 30 miles wide according to the weather right now according to what they can see on their radars so we're going to turn and we're going to go directly west and see if we can get out of this because the lightning is picking up and we just we need to get out of this but we're going to throw out a little bit of sail to give us a little bit of stability we the engine's running it's it sounds like it's having a little bit of issues it feels a little goofy it won't go above 2000 rpms and so we are going to put sail out give stability and maybe back off of the engine a little bit. Yeah, well, now that we're not going directly, before we were going directly into the wind, now that we're to the side a little bit, it's gonna help us be a lot more comfortable in the swells because we're just getting broadsided. Can I see if it works? Okay. Oh yeah. Do you feel like it's too far out? No, I just wasn't thinking. Okay. <laughs> Look at that baby sail. This is a little <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> we put out a little bit of baby sail. Just a bit of main, give a little bit of forward speed, but mostly uh, stability. It's helping. What are you doing, Jed? Jade's cleaning up. Good news, I don't know if you can hear me, but the engine is back, working primo. Uh, whoa. Jeez. <laughs> um, it was vibrating a lot, and it wouldn't go over 2,000 RPMs. So this is really strange, and so I thought, it sounds like a, a prop issue. So I backed the throttle back and then kicked in reverse real fast and then went forward and it, it reset because we have a folding propeller or I guess it's a feathering propeller. And I think it was basically feathered or I think it was basically like almost the wrong angle. So it was taking so much force that it actually couldn't rev any harder. It was giving out all the power it could, but just it couldn't spin fast enough. So all good now. That's good. Is that too much? 
heavy. Well, uh, the engine started smoking or steaming or something. The microphone was just too wet to handle this situation, but the engine was in fact steaming, not smoking, which is good news. Turns out so much water slammed into the back of the boat that ocean water made its way into the fresh air blower tubes that with all the rocking and rolling, it made its way up, down, around, and through those air tubes and onto the hot engine. No damage done other than a dose of extra stress for Jade and me. And while we're inside and it's calm enough, we figured we might as well clean up the soil from the aloe vera plant that got ejected from its pot and went flying across the cabin. Hi. How you doing? I'm oh, good. Good. Sleeping well? Yeah, we're going like eight knots, did you know? I did. Good. We're going so fast. Whoop. Have you logged it off? No. Okay, I didn't either because I was just so exhausted. Yeah. Let's tell everybody what's up. Is the microphone on? Yeah. Uh, I haven't vlogged at all. Jade was inside sleeping. I slept for a while first when it calmed down a little bit because I, I didn't sleep at all last night. And then Jade just slept, so I think we're both somewhat rested now. Uh, we are flying. We're pretty much out of the Gulf Stream now, and so now it's just now it's just wind. And we're doing like eight knots, head straight for Guatemala. So it's it's pretty perfect right now. Uh, sea state isn't bad for how much wind there is. It's pretty calm. So I'm pleased. The boat's holding up well, and. Yeah, if it stays like this, we'll get there in no time. You had an apple? That's yeah. it? Okay. I'll come up with some food for us. I brought up the mobile bar in the meantime. Okay, so, now that we're not like trying not to drown and wreck our boat, the storm, that storm was nuts. That's by far the biggest storm that we have ever sailed in. Don't you think? Yeah, for sure. Like, no doubt. Yeah, that was, that's probably double what we've ever been in. Yeah, because it was we were sailing in sustained 40 knots. Yeah. We've had a squall once that was gusting 30, but we had sustained 40 with gusts on top of that. I don't know. I never looked. I never saw the gusts. So I don't know. But it was sustained 40 with gusts. So yep. I don't know, 45, 50. Ugh. That was and for crazy. hours. For hours. For hours. For it hours. wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't like a yeah half hour or ten minute thing. No, right. it, it was like. And not only hours was hours. it that wind, it was bigger sea state than we've ever been in too. Yep. Yeah. Those bigger are sea the state. biggest waves that we have ever seen. Yeah, we've seen. Fun. Okay, so I think we've seen waves that big before, like a couple of times going through some narrow cuts where the sea state gets kind of crazy. But only like too deep. Yeah. 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 It, and and for like ten minutes. So yeah. it, and we're like, oh my gosh, that was terrifying and it's breaking things inside. No, this was for hours. That was crazy and it was not forecasted. And I even um, messaged when the storm hit us and we finally were not frenzying trying to get everything collected. I sent some messages out to, we have people, right? You, when you do these big crossings like this, you have people helping you watch the weather and helping you like, you know, make sure that you're checking in and stuff because um, you're kind of just out here. Anyway, so we messaged Sasha and I was just like, big storm, make sure we check in. And then she messaged me back and she's like, uh, Kendra, which is a boat, they're waiting, they're already in Guatemala. We're gonna meet up with them. She's like, Kendra just messaged me and just said, where are they? Apparently, like Kendra saw the storm because it hit them first and she, so they were freaking out. They're like, where are they? 
this is going to get them. And so then Sasha's messaging and telling us how, like where the storm is. And she, at first she's like, I don't see it on the radars. Like I cannot find the storm. But Kendra was able to be like, no, you need to go west to get out of it. So once we got that intel, we were able to get out of it. That was exhausting. Yeah. And it did break things. Not too bad though. The boat's in decent shape. The boat's great. I think it's just stuff inside that broke, like Tupperware. Yeah. The, did anything the break? Bimini ripped. Oh yeah. We lost a zipper. Uh, okay. Any other inputs? Uh, you look beautiful. How do you wake up like that? I. You look like a goddess. Thanks. I slept a total of three hours in the last 24. So. Cool. Nice. That's the secret. Yeah. Three and 24. I'll try that out. my oldest sister and she's like you didn't message me back on the radio and I'm like sorry I didn't see your message it didn't come through she's like you messaged everybody else back <laughs> and then I was like everything's okay it's fine and she's like what are you gonna do about the storm this is my dream and I'm like well I think we're just gonna have to to go west and we'll we'll hunker down in Belize for the night uh, until the storm passes the rest of the way this conversation we're having and then the rest of the dream was her arguing with me and being like, but you can't go there. You don't have the paperwork. And I'm like, it's okay. If our boat is getting wrecked by a storm, they'll let us come and anchor. And she's like, I don't think so. I think that's illegal. And I'm like, we can come up with the paperwork. Like we have paperwork for the dogs. It'll be fine. She's like, I don't know. What if you get arrested in a foreign country? She's the first person who would say, go anchor somewhere safe. But it was just a funny dream. I really just see if the microphone can hear you. Because you're talking soft and it's so loud out here. Was I talking soft? Yeah. Damn. But I bet I can hear you because I'm pointing right at you. Okay, here's the deal. If you're a vocal coach and you think you can teach me to project my voice, I might hit you up. Will you send me an email? Because I speak so softly and I never knew I did. My mom does too. I'll go to edit the videos and everybody's wavelengths will be like this and mine's like this. And then my mom came on board and hers was also like this. So I get it from her. We just talk softly. Um, but I don't know how to talk louder without sounding and feeling like I'm shouting. So I could use some uh, tips or coaching. Maybe I need to learn how to sing. That's what it is. That would do it. Yeah. All right. continue dysfunctioning so I'm just hand steering it'll work for a minute but then the amount of time it takes to recover when it turns all of a sudden seems worth it to just hand steer I don't know what do you think oh, you call it dysfunctioning not malfunctioning it's dysfunctional <laughs> I guess malfunction would be more what you would say for a machine yeah our autopilot has a personal yeah. We've 
got our updated weather downloaded and what it says basically in a nutshell is that if we hustle, we will make it to our destination in Guatemala before we get destroyed by the next storm. But if we don't hustle, then we will get destroyed by the next storm and it's gonna be like this, it's gonna be tight. So we're hustling, engines on, we did, the, we did some math calculations. We do have enough fuel to make it there. And I'm gonna go take my first sleep shift. Brett just woke up today to go. Yep, go so motor's on. Sails are still out, so we're motor sailing. We're doing like almost eight knots, uh, but it's super comfortable right now. There's only like 10 knots of wind, uh, but because we're motor sailing, uh, yeah, we're gonna get, we're, we're able to go like straight line, straight there. But yeah, I think we're gonna make it to try. Tonight's gonna be a beautiful night. It's beautiful in every direction which is a nice change of pace. Yeah. We want to hurry though because we don't, the forecasts are not always right. They're almost always wrong actually. Love you. Do you need anything? Nope. Okay. Make me up in three hours? Yep. Okay. See you then. I've just woken up from my brief nap, but Brett let me sleep a little bit longer than my allotment because he came and I started waking up and I couldn't wake up. I was like started panicking. Have this, has that ever happened to you where you go to wake up and you're like, I can't wake up. I can't wake up. So I slept a little extra, but then I did wake up. Not very much longer, I thought. And I came out here and realized that Brett had let me sleep until sunrise. And that's like, that's like triple my shift length. I was like, oh my gosh, why'd you let me sleep so long? And he just looks at me. The very first thing he says to me, he's like, it's not, it's not sunrise. The moon's just really bright. So that is how bright it is tonight. It is so bright tonight that I genuinely thought that the sun was rising. But we've just got a big bright moon and a bunch of clouds keeping all that light reflected in here. And we're cruising. We're flying at nine knots. We just reached the sails. He has the wind really picking up and we have the engine off now. Brett's been getting us going. Right, babe? Let's go. He's had everything covered. Now he's gonna go sleep. Right, sir? Leave at nine knots. Good luck. Step over here into the moon. Now. Step into the moon. Ah, uh, cool clouds. Remember the time we saw the really cool, like cotton candy clouds in Flagstaff on like the yeah. NA NAU campus? Okay. Yes. Clouds. Yes. I think, that was, I think that was when we went up to buy our camera. Our first like DSLR, our Sony. Um, I'm gonna go to sleep, but I think we're, we're right on the verge of being overpowered still, so I'm gonna help Jade furling the sails a little bit. A little bit more, actually. Yeah, we don't need to go nine knots. We don't need to go nine knots. It'll be hard to sleep at nine knots, to be honest.
field was we saw, right? Yeah, we had got a little momentum here. Yep. It is nice not having this connector piece in right here. It makes it so much easier to see the sails. It is a lot easier. A lot easier. It's nice. Oh, there's the acceleration. The autopilot seems to be working again. So that's good. That is good. for me for about an hour but since then I cannot get it to just I just cannot get it to hold course at all. It's starting to get pretty stormy. I'm hand steering it. Um, we've been cruising at eight to ten knots which is amazing. Hopefully we'll be able to get south and out of the course of the storm. But there's looks like there's a storm in front of us and that is too bad because it's supposed to be uh, east of us. So we'll see. Um, I'm getting really tired in my arms. The reality of it is that I'm a small woman and this is a big boat and these are big waves and it takes about all my strength to keep the boat remotely on course. And it's fine for a while but it's been about an hour and I feel like I've had a proper upper body workout at the gym. But I got another hour in me at least. And then, then Brett will wake up and he can take a turn or maybe fix the autopilot. But I can't steer and fix the autopilot at the same time because I think we're going to need to get down inside and calibrate the compass or something. Or even drop down and figure out if it's slipping on the rudder. I really hope I press the cord. I don't know. Okay, there's the boys.
We only have like half the sale out of each sale and we're still doing nine and a half regularly. We were easily doing 10, 10 and a half. Over, I don't think we ever hit 11, but close. Regularly 10, 10 and a half. Um, but it was a little too aggressive. So we pulled a little bit of sale in. Now we're only doing nine and a half. And the autopilot's working a little better. It is. Do you think we'll outrun the storm? I think we're running into a storm. Yeah, it's kind of what it looks like. But I do think there's one behind us that we are gonna outrun. I think the one behind us looks a lot bigger and meaner. Yeah, I think this one in front of us will burn off as soon as the sun comes up. I'm hoping that's the case. That's Well, that's how the other all the other ones have been over land. I think these are, this is over land. As soon as the sun comes up, it burns it off. A lot of lightning, but I haven't heard any thunder, which says they're really far away. Also, we're upwind, so there's that. Sci-fi movie style? Sci-fi movie? Or like fantasy? Like a rift in the time space continuum? But <laughs> the air has changed. I don't know how to describe it other than that. That we can feel the storm. There's power in the air. Vibration. Energy. You ready to get tossed about again? Yeah, we should probably put on about weather gear before we get soaked this time. Okay, I'll go grab it. It's okay. Get some sleep, okay? Get some sleep. Good okay, girl, get some sleep, okay? You guys stay here, I'll get you a treat. Stay, I'll get you a treat. Come on, give me a treat.
good? Yeah. All right. Report. Report. All right. We hurried to get here because the forecast said there's going to be a huge storm building basically behind us the whole way. So we rushed to get here only to find that there's a huge storm right in front of us and way bigger than the one that we can't even see behind us because it doesn't look like there is one. Um, but the one in front looks nasty. Tons and tons of lightning, some of it hitting the water. And so we are staying far away. So we basically rushed to get here and then now we're stopped. We're just kind of hanging out in the middle. We're just off of Belize City, uh, just kind of out in the bay, just kind of bobbing around. We have two knots of current, knot and a half of current pushing us north um, and we want to go south. But I don't know if you can see the lightning or not, but there's a ton of lightning. So we are hoping the sun will burn it off because that's what it's done in past days and the sun is just starting to lighten up the sky. It's uh, 6.50 right now. So we are putting a lot of faith in that sun. Otherwise, I don't know what we're gonna do. And which direction are we currently headed? Right now we're headed northeast. Instead and of, Guatemala is southwest. Yeah. But we're only going northeast at 0.1 knots. Yeah. So we're basically doing nothing. We're but, both mostly just staying pointed into the swell, but there is a storm building there now. Do you see one? Yeah. Which is where the one forecast to be was supposed to be. So at least that storm's there, but they didn't tell us about this extra one. Right. And this one looks nasty. So much lightning. And there's no way to, oh my gosh. Yeah. What? It just, when the lightning lights up, you can see all the clouds. Ah. I need to pay them. The camera is picking up on red hues of sunrise. Woot. Come on, sunshine. Please. Burn out the clouds. Rise faster. At least make it where we can see the clouds. That will be fine too. There's lightning right there, I just saw it. Yeah, it's a lot less bad than over there though. Yeah. Yeah. I think the storm is just building in every direction. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. The boat's getting closer. Yeah, Alright, what are we doing, babe? We are fleeing. We've tucked our tails, all four of them, and we are running from this thing. As fast as we can. We are, yeah, we're headed towards the lease because this is, that looks really bad. Really, really bad. And as the sun gets up, it just looks worse and worse, huh? Yeah, and if it burns off, great, we'll head that way, but for right now, no, thank you. Now, are we gonna be able to get out of its way? The ship? Yeah, he's passing behind us. Okay. Like that way. Okay. Good. The temperature just dropped like 20, maybe 30 degrees. And I'm putting the camera inside because that means it's probably about to start pouring. Pouring rain. But we're fleeing to Belize City currently. It's directly west of us, maybe 30 miles. And, um,. I'll try to film on the GoPro, but the GoPro's been acting kind of funky, so I don't know. No promises, but that's where we're at. Sun's rising though, so at least we can see the storm coming at us now. I'm scared. We have good news. Ah! So, so good news. Well, at least it looks, it might be too early to say. Well, there goes the microphone. Is this still looking good, Brett? Looks great, okay. We started heading north to Belize City, well west to Belize City, but as we were getting closer, we realized that the storm was just already on top of us. And so, we made the decision to head back south into the storm because a, a ship is a lot safer at sea during a storm than near any reef or land. So we're like, we'll just ride it out at sea. The boat will be safer that way since the storm caught us. We can outrun it. But as the sun rose, 
our massive storm system split into two and seriously you guys it feels like Moses showed up and just split the Red Sea in front of us and now we've got we've got a storm to the east and the west and blue skies to the south so we are headed to Guatemala still babe I'm so relieved <laughs> there's still a little bit of rain in front of us but not much it just looks good Lots, it's still stormy, we're still in a storm currently, but we can see the way out. Light at the end of the tunnel. We are in a tunnel now, we've got storm everywhere but where we need to go. So this is good news, this is really, really, really good news. Penny's excited because I'm excited, so she's barking at me now. Penny, it's all good! Brett, how you feeling? Ouch, ooh, I just bashed my shin. Okay, four bites. Oh, good morning! Are you relieved? Yeah. It looks amazing now. Do you think I'm speaking too soon? No. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Is it gonna rain? Should I leave the camera inside? Beautiful day now. Look at the sun coming up. Look at the sun rays. That's we were just being drama. We were being drama, but also justified drama. Look, it looks like a, a just made the decision at the exact same time that the camera should be inside and that happened right after a wave came crash completely obscured the dodger and then like a waterfall ran down the gunnels. Gunnels? Do you just call them gunnels? Yeah, what do you call it? Gutters? No, this right here is gunnel. Like the walk? Gunnel? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said guttel. Like a guttural. A guttural oh, gutter roar. Guttural? Yeah. The gutturals. <laughs> 
I mean, the I guess... intestines of the boat were flooded. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take you inside. You can hang out with the dogs. Your gutturals in there. <laughs> I'm gonna take you to hang out with the dogs where it's nice and warm and dry. Oh, oh my goodness. If I can get over this without falling in. This is definitely a three points of contact kind of day. Preferably, oh, it looks up in the middle. See you later. Hi, guys. I'm so happy to see you. Are you doing a good job sleeping? I'm sorry, I hope you are. Wow. Slightly better. All right, you might not believe it, but it's a beautiful day. Like, don't mind the backfield sail. Uh, there's no wind, so it just is. Uh, we're motoring right now. We're doing seven knots, and we're headed straight to Guatemala. Just getting there. We're just beelining because there's no wind. Uh, it Literally none. Uh, and it's a nice day. So we're going to try and make as much, cover as much water as possible. Meanwhile, we got the fishing lines out because we are about to go over some big drop-offs right in the corner of like Belize and Guatemala. There's like some big long shelf right there. So we're just going to kind of run that shelf and hopefully get some fish for the next month. Oh, exciting update. I don't know if we talked about it much. The autopilot was just giving us hell. It would not pull the course and then it would turn the wrong direction. Like it was, it was horrendous. Like it was so, so, so bad. And so I went through the process of basically recommissioning it, recommissioning it. And when I was trying to calibrate the compass, it would not calibrate. It would calibrate for like a minute. And then as soon as I turned any direction, it would just be like way off. It was never consistent. Sometimes it would be like 180 off, sometimes it would be 90 off. It would Sometimes it would turn the wrong way. Like it was just all over the place. So then it made me think like, oh, something's wrong with the actual like flux gate. So I looked at some wires here, everything was good here. And then I had Jade look in the bedroom because our flux gate compass is actually under the, which is now the storage room bed in there, in that room. I said, hey, did something fall like on top of it or near it or whatever? And I guess, she said that uh, the drone bag had fallen right by it and it has all of the, like has electric motors and lithium batteries and a, a lipo bag that's like metallic. And it was funny cause I, I was watching the heading right here and all of a sudden it like it jumped 120 degrees. And I was like, oh, so whatever she moved in there was messing up the, the compass. And so as soon as she moved that, I was then able to calibrate the compass and now we're just rock steady and it worked. What are you doing? I'm gonna take a shower. You're gonna take a shower? And brush my teeth. Ooh. It's been 48 hours since I brushed my teeth. And you may think, oh wow, Jade's disgusting. And I feel disgusting. You're right. I <laughs> take obsessively good care of my teeth. So the fact that I've gone this long without brushing them, I feel like. You're just, you kissed me with that mouth? <laughs> Oops. I haven't touched you for 48 hours. No, I think that that's a pretty good, uh, things have been crazy. But look, it's beautiful. Shower time. Shower time. Uh, I brought your toothbrush. Yes, I was really hoping you did, but I didn't want to make you feel bad having to get up on me. I would love to brush my teeth, thank you. <laughs> the shampoo bottle, one of the shampoo bottles fell, or maybe the body wash. The shampoo or body wash? The shampoo. shampoo. A shampoo bottle fell in our forward head in our bathroom onto the floor and like, covered the entire floor. Apparently it spilled over the counter too. And so like if you step in there, it's like, it's worse than ice. And then you step out onto the wood floor and it is ice. Like it, it was hazardous. I don't know how you pulled it off, but uh, thank you. How much treachery to myself. That's how bad your breath is. I believe it. And we've got some lines out. Did you tell them that? Yeah. We're gonna end this trip by catching a fish, dang it. Woo. It's gonna happen. Woo. You might want double the toothpaste. Well, I need some for the top and some for the bottom. Makes sense. Thank you. Brushing my teeth and my hair at the same time. Oh, smart.
Alberta, in the ocean, of Honduras Bay. Wait, Honduras. Where is it? The Gulf of Honduras. I can't remember. Gulf of Honduras. Gulf of Honduras. Those like, tell we're not going eight knots. That'll rip my arm right off. <laughs> it would. Maybe not off, but. We jumped in with five knots. Did we film that? I don't that hurt. I think oh, we were naked, hurt. so probably not. It did hurt. I didn't have one on. So. There we go. How fast are we going now? It's five. Oh, wait a second longer. It looks really slow compared to eight. Yeah. Oh, it feels so good. Now I'm starting to itch with all the soap, but. There's four. Okay. I'm not going to dive because I want to keep my swimsuit. I yeah. don't have to try swimming after it. Oh yeah? <laughs> All right. Do you feel clean? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was nice. I'm glad I did that. Hey, look, you got a big fish. <laughs> Me? Yeah. <laughs> Reeled herself in and everything. You feel me, my happiness? Yeah. It's quite loud. It's palpable. What's it taste like? <laughs> How palatable. Palatable. All right. I still haven't slept yet. I tried, but I had drank too much caffeine to stay awake, and it's still working. Do you want to shower? Do you want to shower? She doesn't want to shower. Do you want to shower, Do you want to take a shower? Bonita or a little toony. Those might be different. Not a good one. So we put her back. And then uh, we just had a big one on Big Mama, but it spit the lure. We're going to catch us a fish for dinner. We'll get something for sure. We're going to end this super boring passage with a bang. Yeah, yesterday was really boring. Super boring. Good news. I got my glasses. We found another cedar plug. And by we, I mean Brett. It's a communal leaf, as always. Let's do it. Brett just woke up from a nap, so he's not quite like hyped. So I'm being extra hyped to smother his energy even worse. My lack of hype. Yeah. Come on. Hype. 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 We're gonna catch fish. <laughs> Go get there. Maybe. I found our last cedar plug. We thought we didn't have any more of them. I found one more. And so I am just putting on some heavy duty metal leader. So hopefully keep anything from biting through the line and getting rid of our fish. Okay, it's our last cedar plug. Okay, that one was pretty the stomach. I think I can feel it in the air. Yeah. I just woke Jade up because... Because of that. A nasty storm. This seems like a daily occurrence. Around this time it starts building up and then it'll last for four or five hours and then 
It'll be gone. It'll be a beautiful day tomorrow. I guess today. I think it's like one in the morning right now. But anyways, this is a lot of lightning and a little stressful. What do you think, love? I'm still trying to wake up. Okay, we'll I'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> How are you feeling? Well, I'm awake now. I was getting kind of drowsy. I don't know, I was just telling Jade, I don't know how healthy or unhealthy our fear of lightning is. We both have a pretty strong fear of lightning while we're out sailing, but I just don't know how likely it is. I feel like it's gotta be pretty likely when we're sailing exactly where we see it hitting the water. We're a huge lightning rod. And we're a big lightning rod, but like, wow. I'm like hitting my stomach once to throw up red. Is that how you feel? No, I don't wanna throw up in your stomach. More of just like a, I don't like it. Uncomfortable. It's so scary. Well, the wind found us. It went from about five knots to 25 knots in about five seconds. So that was fun. Yeah. I don't know, I was gonna ask you, I don't know where to sit in here. Yeah. We were just saying how much we like our boat. We're really glad we got Eva. Yep. And fixed her so well and trust her so much. I keep thinking things are gonna tear her apart and then she just- Powers through. Like a huge wave will come and I'm like, oh, this is just gonna knock us down. And then Eva just hatch right through it or folds Soaks right over it and up, pops yeah. back up. Yeah, and I just think it's amazing. It's impressive. I don't know how she'll do with lightning, but we could find out. We might <laughs> find out really soon. We may find out whether we want to or not. Are we on a collision course with that container ship? No, they're on a collision course with us though. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they're taller than us. We could just go sail near them. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> a huge metal boat. <laughs> yeah. That's not a bad idea. They'd probably be just fine if they got struck by lightning. I'm sure they get struck all the time. Because they just go. They don't care. Huh. Should we sail over there and <laughs> call her, hey, mind if we just like tuck oh. in behind you? Can we just buddy boat in, please? <laughs> Thank you. Toss us a tow rope, that'd be great. A tow rope. <laughs> but not anything metal. No, yeah. <laughs> I want to be honest for just a second. It's a hard one because I don't want to be honest with myself either because I think that, especially when you're going into stressful situations, having a positive mindset and uh, like positive affirmations is a good thing. But if I'm being completely just willing to accept how I'm feeling, I'm, I'm exhausted. I am, that's the wrong word. I feel like I'm all out of brave. I feel like I have used up my quota. I have been brave and I've been brave and I've continued to be brave and I am all out and I am terrified of this lightning. And I'm sitting here trying to keep my cool and trying to be positive and be like, no, no, it's fine. We're fine. I don't feel fine at all. This is not fun. Everything is not fine. Do you know what is fine? What? Our autopilot's working. <laughs> that is great. That is really good. I feel like Brett and I are most positive when everything's going wrong. Which, it works for us, it works for us. And everything is fine, so far. Also, one person is way more positive than the other person being negative. Yeah, yeah, we have this. Yin and yang going on. Yeah, if I start feeling down or Brett starts feeling down, then, then the other person will feel like extra positive. It works. You gotta lift each other up all the time, right? Especially when things are hard. Or, you know, electrified. I guess I just don't want anybody to think that we get out here and do this stuff and aren't terrified. Terrified is definitely the exception to this. Maybe for you. Really? I get, I'm scared a lot out here. Oh. It's scary. I'm getting less scared all the time. That's good. But uh, everything's still so new. Like I've never been in an electrical storm like this before. I was never in waves as big as two days ago. Yeah. You know, I was never in waves as big as that storm that just hit us before this. Right. And so, I, it's just the expanding of oneself. It's a good place to be if you want to uh, expand, uh, grow, become more resilient. 
live on the verge of yourself, you know. Yeah, the heads are full and you can't get in there? No. Uh, all right, anyways, so that's, that's my soapbox and my drama. I'm gonna go back to being fine. You missed the coolest one I've seen so far. Really? Yeah, it looked like a trident. Did you record it? No, it didn't have battery. The lightning seems to be calming down, uh, lessening. There's less lightning now. So I suppose that's a bright side, ironically enough. <laughs> we will take the darkness. What's okay. love Not but a second hand yeah, yeah. so emotion? Knocks, so they'll probably go in front of us. All right. Probably nothing to worry about. Did you guys hear that? Brett says that the container ship that we're gonna buddy boat with is going 15 knots. So we probably won't catch up, but we probably also won't get run over. That's pros and cons. It throws a tow line. Pros and cons. Our boat can't go 15 knots, no if matter how hard. Tow line, it could. No, it can't. That's beyond. Well, I guess it would have to. Exactly. That does not sound comfortable. No. That's above our whole speed. Our whole speed would be going that fast though. Our whole speed? Yeah. Whoa! The lightning was going across the sky and I think it was just so bright that it made the sky blue. It was like there was a little bitty sun for just a second. I think lightning is actually hotter than the sun. If I remember that factoid right. I, there's no way. Really? We'll have to look it up. There's something in my brain that I think says that lightning is hotter than the surface of the sun. But You've got a pretty good brain. Fairly attached to it. Directly behind us, where we were going originally, is starting to look clear. But the anchors that we were gonna tuck our tails and hide into, all of the storm looks like it's moving on top of that. So let's so turn around. So I think we're turning around again. We didn't go very far. We went. Before we figured that out. Four miles. And now we just try to not get struck by lightning. And by try, it means cross your fingers. I think I just thought of the best analogy for how I feel about this right now. Okay, hear me out, Brett. Here, will you hold the camera? My arm's tired. Wow. I want you to imagine every fantasy novel ever, every fantasy movie ever, okay? The big battle. Everybody's on horseback. You're about to go clash. Uh, you know, armor's clinking, there's swords going, you get the close-ups and, and it's chaos. Except you're the one wearing the crown. So everybody knows you're the king or queen. So guess what? They're all coming for you. And, whoa. Yeah, that like made the camera freak out. That made me freak out. We've got this huge pole saying, hey, I'm a really good place for you to land, Mr. Lightning Bolt. Come on over. That's how I feel. I wonder if a carbon <laughs> fiber a good mass analogy. would be less likely to get struck. A carbon fiber mass? Yeah, oh. it's still carbon. Oh. But I don't think they're. I don't think carbon fibers can conduct it. Wow, you've got to film over there. Temperature just dropped. About to get wet. Yeah, it's about to rain on us. It's raining, guys. You don't want to be out here. First Toy Story, oh, the, yeah. the claw, they're like, the claw, whoa. <laughs> they're all like in unison though. And then our reaction to it. Uh-huh. How you doing? Better now, the jacket, that was cold. It's almost entirely over here. There's still some in front of us, but I haven't seen any lightning or anything for a long time in front of us. It really does seem like it's clearing out, huh? It does. So, Hopeful. I think we made the right call not going to that other anchorage because it does seem like the storm is kind of moving that way right on top of it and it's clearing up ish in front of us. So I think we made the right call.
Yeah, that over there we put stand pitch for everybody. <laughs> wow. You should just point over and over again and then we'll take whatever tape works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's because it has to get, it takes time to get there. Like, my, my commands. Yeah. It's a we'll delay. Try again then. I really need to use the ladies' room, but I feel like as soon as I leave and go inside, that's when we're gonna have like the biggest lightning strike, or that's when we're gonna, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like if I go inside, it's almost gonna make something bad happen, because I'm all missing. But I don't think I can wait anymore, so Brett, get yourself ready. You got to. What? Okay, you're gonna be super impressed when I tell you this. I just managed to sit myself on the toilet without ever once stepping into the bathroom. That's impressive. I feel pretty, pretty accomplished there. There's some serious acrobatics. Well done. It's a lot of lightning. So wait, does that mean you just like held your feet off the ground the whole time? Yeah, it was a really good lower abdominal workout. Yeah. I'm over there like... <laughs> <laughs> was that as cool as I think it probably was? I think it was. Oh. It's nice that even though it's, we're in a lightning storm, it's not too windy and the sea state's quite calm actually. That's so much so windy. that Jade went and got ice cream and chocolate and we're gonna have us a little lightning storm snack. Just lightning in the sky, sometimes on the water. And on the water. There's hardly any wind. Ooh, that was a cool one. Yeah, it's fairly calm, pretty chill. Just kind of like a drive-in movie. Yeah. We seem to be in some sort of time vortex where the closer we get, the slower time goes. I feel like these hours are stretching. We're just so ready to be there, to be done. I feel that way too. Well, we actually have, huh? Because we turned around for a while. <laughs> uh, but we're getting close. We're getting really close. How close would you say we are? Definitely closer than we've ever been before. We're 20 miles away. Still, weren't we 20 miles away like a, a, a while ago? Uh, still a lot of lightning, but it's a ways off now. It's feeling a lot better about life. It's not on top of us anymore, or at least not right now. Wow, that one was cool. Getting closer. Brett is so asleep, his mouth is hanging open. Fell asleep mid-sentence. Uh, but we're only about an hour and a half out, so almost there. I'm just watching for boats because there's happened to be a lot of boats here. More than I was expecting for some reason. I don't know why, but it just seems like a lot. Hey. Yeah, I'm tired. We went out for very long. A couple hours. There yet? But I got a really cool shot of the lightning. With me sleeping in the background? Uh, it is your feet and Penny, but yeah, still you. That's Ooh, that was fun. Wow. How tired you fell asleep? We're almost there, love. You're gonna be okay. Sleeping, which is good and I'm standing because I think if I sit down I'll also be sleeping and we really can't both be asleep right now we're almost there we're really close to land there's a lot of boats hold on I stand back up I can do it we're almost there 
I give up. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, no, I can do it. I can do it. Less than one hour to go. Well, the sun is just coming up. We are just making the turn around into the bay. So we are pretty much here. We have a couple options of anchorages. One that's really close is only about 10 minutes away and then another one that's probably about an hour away. The one that's closer has less protection. Might still be worth it because then that means we can go to bed sooner. Jade just cheered. When I told her that when I announced that we were only 10 minutes away, it'll be even faster if we go back to sleep. <laughs> Hi puppies. <sighs> Feels weird being around lights and stuff again. I had a little power nap. Did you wake? I'm feeling much better. Look at these mountains! Elevation! Oh, you can't see it at all. I'll show you with the other lens. That is pretty cool to see mountains. I love mountains. You guys don't know this because I think that we've not been biting any mountains this whole time since we've had a YouTube channel. Brett and I are totally mountain people. So before doing sailboat stuff, we were rock climbers and hikers and and we love it. And to be by, I'm like, ooh, let's go exploring. I'm feeling a lot better after my power nap. And we're in calm water. And we're almost there, baby. Yay. Brett hasn't had a power nap yet. Well, he had a little one, but I don't know if it was long enough to count. You only slept for like 20 minutes. Yeah. It was enough for me to realize that I really want more. <laughs> Fair. I want to stand close to you. Beautiful sunrise on our beautiful new chapter here in Guatemala. It is, look at the, like the pink clouds. And it smells like the jungle, which is a good smell. Welcome to Guatemala, Dingo. Another country on the list. Oop. Can you tell them that we have service all of a sudden like this? Oh, he purchases. Got a dragonfly. Is it delicious? Penny, leave it. Penny, leave it. <laughs> Good girl. Wow, look at this light. Good morning. The sun is rising on a beautiful day. Go down to Congratulations on finishing our longest passage to date and our most difficult, yeah. I would say. That's something to be proud of. We've yep. accomplished a big thing. A big thing? You're beautiful. I'm super bummed that our track didn't go the whole way, like one big long line. It'll be on our uh, Iridium though. Yeah, it's really cool to see mountains. Um, it's kind of messing with my mind. Because we haven't seen mountains That in so we're long. sailing into mountains. Hey, you're saying the T. Are you doing that on purpose? Yeah. <laughs> be who you are, It's Brett. also kind of strange to be around ships and boats and lights and stuff. But we've been on we've been on our own. We haven't seen anything for over a week now. Our friends got here uh, what like a, a few months ago, I guess? 
and they've been talking to everybody. They're all experienced, or at least more than we are, about the area. And they let us know that kind of the town and the area right here going into the mouth of the river where we're headed is notorious for theft. That is the fourth SD card that we have completely filled up today. Well, like, they got full today. We didn't fill it all in the last 24 hours. There's a lot of theft here, and it's it's not just like petty convenient theft, it's like legitimate theft. I guess petty theft is legitimate. I'm not diminishing that, but our friend said that somebody on Anchor here had all of their running rigging stolen. The running rigging is uh, the lines, the ropes on the boat. And so he came and just like cut it all off and stole all of it. And so he woke up and didn't have any running rigging anymore. Um, we have a lot of stuff out like our surfboards, all of our dive gear, everything is just like very grabbable. So we're gonna put everything that we can inside where it's safe. Everything inside except for Dingo. Dingo's gonna be on, on guard duty. But once we get into the river where we're going, it's a lot better at that town. It's kind of just this, like the couple of towns right here supposedly. We don't want our stuff to get stolen. We look really cute in glasses. I like the look a lot. Oh, it's just crocheted. It does look like a nice place to sleep, huh? All right, I'll go set our anchor then. Okay. I don't know if I remember how. It's been a while. Actually, it has been a while because we were on a mooring. Uh-huh. It's been like a month. Okay. So the down button. <laughs> what is our depth? Uh, it will be 15 feet. Okay, how long should I wait till I go up there? Oh, look how brown this water is. We're in downside, going into a river. Yeah, no swimming. No swimming. Do you think she heard me? Yeah, yeah. but she's tracking bugs. Is she? Penny, get it. Go get it. Go get it. That's cute. All right, ready for There's like, are there dolphins? Okay. The equation is 50 feet plus double the depth. That's what we always do. The depth is 20, but we have to add five feet because the anchor comes from five feet above the water. So 25 times two is 50 plus 50 gives us 100 feet of chain, which is going to be my yellow marker. Right before we left on this passage, we docked for the very first time in almost a year, which means that now the snubber is underneath all of the fenders. So I've got to <laughs> go on a little treasure hunt here. I wonder what you're going to find. I have so many boat bites from this trip. Mm -hmm. I am all banged up. I think we all are. Yeah. The worst one was when I was on shift. I was all tethered up, life jacket and all the right things in the cockpit, but a big wave hit us because the autopilot wasn't working. We just had to turn all of a sudden, and then we got broadsided by a huge wave. Basically, it didn't lay the boat down. If I say that, that that's actually like a term. It didn't lay the boat down, but it was a big wave that rocked us, and so I was on the port side, and when it rocked, I flew, like I fell. I didn't fly, I fell, because the boat was sideways from the port side. You fell downhill on the boat? Yeah, to the starboard side, over the cockpit table, and I got stopped. I would have gotten stopped by my tether, but before my tether caught, the, the helm showed up. So I ended up slamming in sideways to the starboard helm on my ribs like this. Like, <laughs> it really hurt. Okay. It's never time. Hey. Hey. The 
this officially ends our longest passage to date. Yeah. We are now in the most foreign country we've ever sailed to. <laughs> yes. How do you define that? No, I guess it's more, the US. it's more foreign than the Bahamas because they don't speak English. Yeah. Which means we get to speak Spanish. Hey, I'm hey. proud of us. Thank you. That was an accomplishment. That we was. Did good. <laughs> Let's put you in bed. <laughs> You're so tired. I'm like, I'm going. <laughs> Every single thing I've said for the last hour, but it's like, yes. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he's heard a word. Let's go, Penny. Let's go to bed. Dingo, you're beautiful. You're a good boy. If we take I mean, him inside, do you think that they'll still alert us if people That's come? what I was going to say. Penny will tell us if someone tries to get on the boat. You think? Yeah, 100%. Okay. Well, let's all go in and sleep then, and then we'll just hope they alarm us. Deal. Until we know how bad the mosquitoes are, I don't want to leave them out here. Yep. Doesn't seem very responsible. Hi, Dingo. We want you to be super safe. Let's go to sleep! Wow! Okay, that's insane. We're like, wow, Guatemala is kind of cold and we've been kind of cold. But now that we stop moving and there's no wind, it is hot! It's also like 7 a.m. Yeah, but... That's just gonna be... Yeah, it, well, the humidity with the wind felt kind of cool. Yes. But now that there's no wind, it is hot. Penny, come inside. Let's close it up before the bugs come. Hey. Good job. Good job to you. Go to bed. Right now. No if sounds or butts. I'm gonna brush my you? teeth. Okay, that's good too. I'm gonna wash my face and take a shower and pick up in here for a little bit. <laughs> well, I suppose this will probably be the end of the vlog. Um, so. Thanks for joining us on... What, what do you think was in this video? Lightning? Yes, mostly lightning. We survived. It's beautiful here. Clear skies. We're going to go sleep and tune in next week. Make sure you subscribe and join us next time when we, we finish going up the river. Yeah, and see what Guatemala is all about. Yep. See if they'll let us in. Can we enter your country? <laughs> we brought paperwork. We're already here, so. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Good night, good morning, whatever time it is for Good. you. We'll see you later. Yes. Love you, bye. We'll be fine.